Amanda from Lavender Witch in the UK and I'm here in my kitchen this morning and I'm going to talk to you about incense. Um, when I mention incense a lot of you probably think of these where you get them in a box and you get the little joysticks that everybody burns in their house and they smell awesome. Um, but that isn't what I'm going to talk to you today about. I'm going to actually talk to you about magical incense. Um, that is your own blends that you actually use natural herbs and flowers and resins and things and you blend them with essential oils and whatever it is that makes the magical intent and then you can use your incense for whatever purpose and actually personalize it to whatever it is you're doing in your work. Now the magic of incense is actually an archaic art. It has been used for thousands and thousands of years since the ancient cultures including um, Egypt, India, China, Tibet, um, Native American, um, the Mayans, the Incas, just to name a few of them. Evidence regarding the use of incense has been found from indigenous civilizations to um, I think it's 13,000 BCE where sarsaparilla seeds when frankincense and cypress were actually burned. Um, Incense can be used for a whole range of different reasons, ranging from religious ceremony to spiritual practice, for meditation, for relaxation, um, healing, to enco encourage emotional release. Um, you know, it can use to inspire, it can heighten your emotions, it can also calm your emotions, um, it can stimulate creativity, boost your confidence, um, heighten your sexual desire, um, whatever it is that you need incense for, you can blend your own mixture of herbs, of resins, of essential oils to achieve what it is that you're actually trying to do. Um, if you're serious about making incense and using incense in your own practice, then natural incense is an excellent choice to make rather than those little joysticks. Um, it promotes your consciousness and it helps your state of mind as well as because you've blended that incense yourself you've got that personal connection within your work. Um, I always try and use natural blends anyway as much as humanly possible. Um, so making my own blends is not only fun for me you know, I love getting my pestle and mortar out and blending those herbs together and the whole kitchen smells divine. You know, it's really something that I love to do. But it also gives me that personal connection to my work and it enables me to put the ingredients together that also has its own energies and its own magical properties, which will also enhance my work and therefore usually achieve better results. So what... I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to take you over to my workbench, going to get some ingredients together and I'm going to make a basic circle incense. Um, this is an incense blend that can be used in any ritual work or any magical work that will actually cleanse your space of any negativity as well as charge it with positivity and enhance your magical workings. So we're going to make that together. Hopefully um, you'll find it useful and if you do make this incense I promise you um, it will smell awesome and I personally love this one and I use it a lot in um, rituals and circle work that I do um, both publicly on my own and within our coven. So I'm going to take you over there now um, we'll blend some incense and then I'll speak to you again after. So let's get to it. So let's get started. Um, to make this circle incense blend, what you're going to need is a working bowl. I prefer a pestle and mortar because then you get a nice good blend. But you can use a bowl and just use your fingers. Um, we're going to use sage and rosemary essential oils. Um, we're also going to use angelica leaf. This is angelica leaf. Angelica removes all hexes and curses and is really strong for protection. 
So we're going to use angelica leaf. We're also going to use sage. Sage is brilliant for protection, but also promotes wisdom. You'll have all heard this saying probably, um, listen to sage advice. So sage is really good for wisdom as well as protection. We're also going to use rosemary. This is fresh rosemary that I've hung up and dried. This is good for protection, purification, and when burned emits a powerful cleansing vibration which will remove all negativity. We're also going to use cinnamon. Cinnamon is not only good for protection but also spirituality and success. So when burned it raises the spiritual vibrations and stimulates power as well as producing those protective energies. So we're going to use cinnamon today. I'm also going to use burdock root. Burdock root is really good for protection and warding off all negativity. So we're going to use burdock root too. And I'm going to add a little bit of resin in there. And we're going to use frankincense resin today. Frankincense is also known for protection and is quite commonly used for protection in scents. But it's also really good for spirituality. So when it's burned, it uplifts an area and it removes and drives out all the negativity. So I'm just going to set these aside for the minute. And we'll bring each of them in as we need it. So I want you to take your work bowl, whatever that is. I'm going to use my pestle and mortar today. And before I like to start working, what I do is I have a smudge stick and I like to remove any other energies or negativity or anything else that might have been in my workspace. So I will just cleanse my workspace, my bowl. And my pestle and mortar. So I'm going to get that all nice and clean of any negativity. Just make sure that you're starting on a nice even keel so that if you are doing some specific work for a more positive reason, then you are actually just cleansing everything away before you even start. So first of all, let's add the sage. So we'll take some of the sage from the jar and just break it up. Just break it up into the bowl. Oh, it's going everywhere. I love doing this because, you know, you get your hands in on all these herbs and it smells divine. So you can add quite a bit of sage, depending on how much incense you want to make. But I add a good handful of sage. The next one I'm going to add is the angelica. So I take a smaller handful of the angelica because this is quite strong a smell, but it is really nice as well. So I'm going to add angelica into the bowl. I'll set that to one side. And then I'm going to add some rosemary. I tend to just break off a little bit of rosemary into the bowl. Next we're going to add the burdock root. I'll put all of that in there. And then the cinnamon. The cinnamon, depending on the pieces of cinnamon you've got, will break really easy or <laughs> not at all. So it all depends, but it usually needs a really good bashing cinnamon if you get it in this form. You can buy it already broken up, but I'm the one for like, I like getting my hands in and working with things. So, except I don't think I can break that one. Oh, oh there we go. 
So add cinnamon to that as well. And then next, I'm going to add the frankincense resin. So I don't like adding too much resin. A lot of people throw a lot of resins into their blends. Mm. But I find that if you put too much in, it overpowers everything. And then all you can smell is the actual resin. Because that's obviously really quite strong. And then the only other thing I do is the oils. But before I add the oils, I'm just going to blend some of those herbs together a bit and get them broke down, break down that cinnamon sticks. And just work some of those herbs together and get them broke down. Because if you blend them together, then you're not going to get just any one smell when you come to burn this as incense and you don't want one to be more overpowering than the other so just have a look and make sure it's all blending together so that when you put that on your charcoal disc I'm going to put some of this that I've lost all over here out <laughs> so you just work it until you think you've got a good blend and a good mix And then what I like to do is just to add those essential oils, just to pick out those smells that you might actually lose in there. So I'm going to add just a drop of sage oil. So if I take sage oil, I'm just going to add a couple of drops of sage oil. And then... I'm also going to add a couple of drops of rosemary oil. Just a couple, not too much, because that's all it'll smell of if that's all you do. So I'm just going to add those and then just blend them up a little bit more. And you'll smell all those wonderful herbs and aromas already coming together in your pestle. And it's as easy as that and then you have your incense blend ready to burn on your charcoal block it smells divine now this blend is really good for any ritual work or any circle work where you need to protect your sacred space while you're doing your work So did you guys enjoy that? Um, I think the whole place smells awesome. And um, obviously we now have a lovely blend of circle incense, which we can then go on to use in ritual or for cleansing your sacred space when you're performing any sort of magical workings. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, if you have got any questions, please feel free to pop it in the comments below. Or you can find me on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, I would really appreciate it if you haven't already hit subscribe and follow my videos on my channel on YouTube. Um, but that's it for today. Have a magical day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.